trying to get the background there. There it is. I'm too short. Yeah, I just had to get to the gym. Reading some of those comments just got me pumped up, if you know what I'm saying. People can be such trolls. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's my project. <laughs> if I want to fail, let me fail. If I wanted your opinion, I'd say, hey, give me your opinion. People can just be so, um, what do you call it? Uh, wheelchair, not wheelchair, that's, that's, that's why I'm here, so I don't stay in the wheelchair. Uh, armchair, armchair coaches. They think they know how to do everything and they think they can do it better. Well, guess what? Go do it better. You think you have a better workout than me? I'm not gonna stop you. Go do it. Prove it to yourself. Don't prove it to me. You think you build a better camper? <laughs> I bet you can go do it, but this is my baby. This is my project. So back off you little freaking troll. <laughs> Love y'all. Oh, do you guys recognize this place? Sorry about the lightings. Here, let me turn this down real quick. There you go. A little better. This used to be my mini shop. Now it's turned into a place where we're selling. This is what happens when you move into a trailer. Trailer, I mean, <laughs> an RV. Sell everything. So those, these are sold. I'm pretty sure this stuff over here is sold. There's the cat in the window as usual. And there's my office collectibles over there that has to go into storage in Missouri. We're selling that stuff over there. Ah, oh, camping stuff in the corner as well. It's got to go. And I'm in the corner over there too. It all has to go in the camper. So, yeah. So this used to be the. She did a good job cleaning it up. She worked hard. Uh, all those hats are uh, going to the lost and found, or what you would call it. But um, getting there. We're getting there. A lot of work. So now, that I've used the bathroom. I can stop talking. Let's turn this light back off. And get back to the shop. My special delivery wall is gone. Oh. I think that does anti sway bars. Oh, mosquitoes all over my face right now as I'm talking to you. Hold on. I gotta go. Good grief. All right, guys, let's get back at it. Uh, before we start working on the floor in the garage, finishing that up, I received a package, as you saw me opening, for an access door. And I'm realizing now that it's not going to fit. Um, I end up going with a smaller set and... I really wish that, uh, you know, what is this? What's that expression? You would, you should, you could, you did, didn't, or something like that. Anyhow, you know, if I'd done this right, I would have built it from the ground up, from the trailer up, like you would a house. And this would have made a, a lot of difference in how I'm having to do things like now, like, you know, find some type of way to access that area because that's where my plumbing is going to go. I'm not going to have time right now in this in this part of the uh, seasons to get the plumbing done because we have to we have to move out of this house. We got to get out of there. So plumbing's going to have to wait, but I need a way to get into this area. And electric too. Um, ended up not running the electric through there, and I'm glad I didn't. I found other ways to do it. But initially I was thinking I'd have to run the plumbing through there, the electric through there. But all I need to do actually is run the plumbing through there. And that access panel is way too big. Now before I insulate and put plywood over this area, I need to go ahead and screw it down. Remember, I only screwed down the actual garage area. I haven't finished screwing down the sides over here where the tires are. So I'm pre-drilling those holes and then using those long torque screws and screwing my 2x3s right into the deck.
And again, I've cut some shims. That's what's in my hand right there. I'm sliding in any spaces where the lip of the metal of the uh, car hauler, the tra actual trailer, wherever that was pushing it up and creating a gap, I would put those shims under there and uh, screw right through the two by three in through the shim and into the decking. Just like I did before in the garage area. Now it's time for some insulation. And it may seem like overkill to put foam board under the plywood in the area that no one's gonna be living in. But remember I just told you that I wanted to put my plumbing in that access area. So it'd be nice to have some type of R factor protecting it from the temperatures. It's a different kind of bug. Before we were shooting bugs, now whatever these bugs are, little black fly things. Look at them all on the ground over there. <sighs> it was way too hot in the shop today, so I guess I took a break. I went in. I guess it's the garage door. I went in, and we uh, got a lot of packing done. Actually, we got the other office. Well, what what originally was my office. Or the playroom. I can't remember which, but that's packed up now. Almost completely empty. So, we got a lot done today. And I was so exhausted. I just sat in my chair watching TV for a minute. Out. And the wife just left me sleep. She wasn't supposed to. So, did that even finish? I gotta check that, see that everything burning there tomorrow. I was in the middle of burning trash too, and didn't get to finish that. Dang it, I wasn't supposed to fall asleep. It really sucks. Um, it's nice in here, it's actually kind of cool. I might have to go put a sweatshirt on. But anyways, we are going to 
Um, so let me cut the piece for this here first. Put a piece of plywood in here just like these ones. And then I'll go over there and, and attach that side. Same thing on this side. Cut the cut 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 the foam board for it. Uh, what else? And then cut a piece of plywood for it. And I may go ahead and put the lag bolts in there. Um, and then I'll start getting this ready to, to hang external plywood. Hold on a minute. I'm going to grab something. Excuse me. Stepped on a California barking spider. All right. A lot to do. A lot to do. Where's my drink? Just like that. Put this over here like this. I got some bug spray in here somewhere. I'm not sure I can find it. This spray all those bugs dead. Before they swarm me while I'm working. I don't even want to shut the garage door right now. I'm going to have to find it later. Alright, what else? Is the light on over there yet? Nope. Let's turn this light on. Get that going. Um, ooh, I'm sitting my shit on there. Let's turn these lights on. Ooh, those are some pretty strong LED lights. Those are pretty awesome. All right, what else, guys? All right, let's uh, look at all these cords everywhere. All right, let's get to work. Let's music on and get to work.
So I wanted to show you a close-up of what it looked like inside with it stapled down and um, all the walls in. Sorry, and it screwed down. You can see my screw holes in the floor. You can see my staple marks. All the studs are, are marked and they're all attached. Um, all the plywood's attached to those actual studs. Those runners that I made, you saw me make those a couple episodes ago. So I just want to show you that. Dang it, I think I missed the sunrise, guys. I was going to show it to you. It's absolutely gorgeous again. Remember last year? Oh, look at it over here. Well, I don't want to get too close because these birds have been dive bombing me. If you saw the video. See them up there? Let's see if I can get a flash going here. See him up there? Sleeping? Can you guys see that or not? Anyways, I don't think they're gonna dive on me because I think they're sleeping. Um, I mean, leave that out there. It's kind of trashy. Did this all get burnt? Burned some more trash today, or last night. Look at the sky, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Here they come. Here they come. They're coming to dive by me. Here they come. Hey, I'm just out here taking some photos. Do you guys mind? Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Anyways, look at that sky. Oh, mosquito on my face. I just put a ton of bug spray on too. I didn't get my finger, really? The one spot I didn't put spray on. I'm not staying out here. Mosquitoes are so thick. Crazy. Look how beautiful that is though, guys. I'm gonna get a picture of that, hold on. Successfully pissed off the birds. You see him? Whoa, did you see that? Dive bombing me. Relax. I ain't after you or your babies. Coyotes were like so thick last night. I shot at them last night too. I don't think I hit any of them, but it's too dark. But they were, they were like right on top of me. Two of them. I don't know if there's more, but they were talking back and forth. So it was pretty intense. Just slipped out here real quiet, grabbed the nine mil, and then waited. And then as soon as I started back up again, I shot right at them. But I didn't hear any yelps or anything, but that was it. And then I drove the truck. I'm not sure if I got that in a video or not. Anyways, I drove the truck up and down the road. Check. I heard the cattle, um, weird. I heard them over there last night. They're usually back in, so I don't know if... <laughs> mosquitoes are everywhere. I don't know if, um, if one was out and that's what they're after. But hopefully I saved its life. I didn't hear any more, um... What do they call it when cows are in distress? Oh, right back of my head mosquito you're dirty Man, I just want to finish up work here so I can go in it's like you in mosquito in mosquito in mosquitoville called Minnesota literally you have to take a bath do you see the video of me I just drenched my sweatshirt just completely drenched it and they still found a way to get underneath my hat between the space on my bald head, my neck, and uh, where the um, hat comes, nail me right there. So I'm getting ready to cut the plywood for the side walls in the garage area and in that little space there above the tires. But I have to make um, what you call it runners. For the plywood to attach to on the inside on the outside 
it will have our normal plywood but then I'm also going to have a door in the garage area and in the um, crawl space so I wanted to set up the saw to get ready for all those cuts rather than bringing the wood back and forth across the shop just brought the saw over closer so it's easier to get to
I guess I found a bunch of uh, lines that I didn't finish um, screwing down. So, getting those now.
Here's coyotes barking and fighting and going at it. So I'm just putting my leg, dang it. Dude, get the hell out of here. Wow. Look at these birds attacking me when I come out of my house. My garage, my shop. Listen. 
think I see him over there. The freaking birds will stop dive bombing me. We'll go check it out. Oh, the cattle over there, that's why. I tell you what, those coyotes are really smart. I think I see him over there. Talking smack to the cow. Man, did you hear that California parking spider? Ooh, as loud as the coyotes. All right, I'm not staying out here. The mosquitoes are like as thick as thieves out here. But they were closer a minute ago. They're right up on the shop. Ouch! All right, I'm going in. All right, going back in. Switch that back to. Time to get dive bombed by the birds again. Their nest is like right there by the. Right in the. Uh, it's called the louver of the, of the garage. Where it sticks out there, three, two, three feet. Built like a little mud perch. I think I showed it to you before. Oh, did you see him come out of it? Whoa, see, here he comes. All right, I'm gonna go in this way. They keep getting close. Listen to that. You hear that? All right, mosquitoes are crazy out here. It's cold out here. The mosquito, how can the mosquitoes be out in the cold? They know better? 